Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Angelic Pickle, it's Matt here speaking, coming to you live from my living room. Um, really excited to show you this today. This is a sort of a technical demo that's pre-installed on the PlayStation 5 called Astro's Playroom. It's going to sort of give us some really, really cool uh, insights into what the console's capable of doing. Um, show you sort of how the haptic feedback works on the controller as well, which is really cool. Um, I've looked at it briefly, I haven't really sort of dived into it sort of that uh, much really, so I just thought we could do that together, so yeah. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive in guys, let's have a look at it. Beautiful consoles. And I'm really excited to set up the uh, PSVR in it as well, hoping that they're going to really, really do something with that. Okay. And this, by the way, this guy's. I can't tell you how great this feels as well on the uh, controller. You can really feel it if you like, sort of like, set your finger down just a little tiny bit. You can really feel like, you can really adjust that rumble on the controller. God, that is so cool. Yeah, that is... And again, I've got, I mean, I've got the headset on as well, and there's, there's that, like, the sound effects. It's like magic. Woo! Oh, I can't wait to jump in it. Yeah, it's so cool. You can really feel like, if you tilt the control to one side as well, you can feel like the rumble on one side of the control, so it really flat gets you that like, feeling like there's some weight in it. It's so cool. God, actually, I remember them doing something like this on the PS on the PlayStation 4, and they didn't actually utilize, you know, like sort of the, the speakers and that in the control that much, so. There's something to like blow in it. Hello. Hello! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love it. Honestly, I can't stop staring at this console, guys. I'm just. It's just there, and like. Oh, yeah, all its glory after all this time waiting for it to come out as well. Okay, let's jump in. I love it. Like, if you like, really like, you could adjust it. You could like really feel like the, the clicks it makes, even like through the controller. It's so cool. Like, So yeah guys, I just thought we'd uh, jump in and just, just play about half an hour of it really, just to just test it out and uh, just to get something on the, there's some content on the channel as well. I uh, just thought it'd be a nice place to start with, it's been pre-installed, so. Um, been looking at that bug snacks as well, it looks really cool. Again, don't really know much about it, going going blind. Um, the reviews seem a bit strange though, some people saying that it's like quite weird and uh, sort of like unintentionally horrifying, so that should be quite interesting. Again, I haven't really dived into the, into much of that. I don't really know what it's about, so. Right, then. God, it feels so smooth. I love it. Look at that detail. Look at it. it's like it, it's so satisfying as well. It just looks so smooth, you know, like the uh, it's the light reflecting off him. I mean, guys, when I was making those punches, then you could really feel the uh, the rumble through the control pad. Again, literally everything I'm doing, you can feel the rumble.
God, I remember having one of them all those years ago. I can't believe now f five generations of PlayStation down the line. It's absolutely insane. I actually I've still got one of these um, stored away safely. Uh, I've, I, I keep all my old consoles. I just really like can't I find it in my heart to just like like say give them up again. Some time they're gonna be like relics someday, aren't they? You know, there's gonna be collectors after these sort of things. So. I love it, you can just like feel the like the sort of little tiny like tinny like metal effects is running across it, the logo there. That's cool. So yeah, thanks for joining me guys. Again, this is a uh, completely the reboot of an old old channel. I've got well <laughs> two videos that I made sort of like three years ago. Totally abandoned it. I thought with the PlayStation 5 coming out it'd be a really good idea to sort of um jump back in, get some content created for you, so yeah, I'm really excited. Um, as at the minute, I don't have any... Uh, I do have a PlayStation camera for the VR, but I haven't set anything like that up yet, so it's just purely the audio. I know hunting for these coins is going to do my head in. It's so satisfying the sound though when you pick them up. Oh, nail it. Oh! Well, I thought that was fine. So, yeah, so the main uh, thing I wanted to do with the channel, really, is just, just to make it like sort of a variety channel. I want to play a bit of everything on here. I don't want to sort of specialise in any specific genre. I love playing absolutely everything. So, again, we can have maybe like a series where we do uh, maybe like a horror theme or... And again, even at some point, jump into sort of a big, big blockbuster sort of RPG game. I know that'd be quite cool to do. But for now, I just think, just keep it nice and simple. Just do something like, you know, like something short and yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I know I'm never gonna make that jump. Right here we go. There you go. Also, I want to say a big shout out to my brother-in-law Tim. If you're watching this, buddy, thanks for joining. Um, yeah, really excited to get his uh, video to you as well, just to show you what it's like. I know you're really excited for the new console, so again, it feels really, really, really cool, bro. Again, really cool tech demo. I love it. And I think I watched part of the PlayStation Access team play this demo as well. I know Rob uh, was looking at it; it looked quite cool. Right, let's just have to decide which one to go in first. I know there's like multiple sort of levels you can look at. Actually, I'm really drawn to this PlayStation. Let's jump in there. I wonder what you're doing here. Labo. PlayStation Labo. What's that, Bring the map? Okay, so we're not meant to know what these are just yet. Well, that's pretty cool. There's like four stages to it, and then the central. Oh, yes, yeah, so the central bit. It's like a sort of a tacked onto the side. Oh, it looks like I'm doing a lot of collecting, guys, by the looks of this. Oh, that's pretty cool there. That feels really satisfied as well, hitting them data boxes. What are these guys up to? Oh look a little mini spider, love it. These guys looking at No, they don't react to me hitting them. <laughs> Oh, just give me a little wave. Oh, 
Come here. Oh, look, that's pretty cool. God, that is so satisfying having all those coins. Need more coins. What are these guys doing? It looks some sort of like sort of uh, icy like chips on the side there. That's cool though, I don't don't recognise that game guys if you know what that one is. Maybe it's sort of a throwback to a uh, something in the past, I don't know. Oh look I know what that is. Looks like um looks like parts from that game Knack that came out. Was it when the PS4 first came out? That's pretty cool. It's a game that I think it's actually a game that I is it my uh, Mark Cerny actually um designed and uh, himself. That's sort of just like giving you Oh, so when you sort of like uh, an autopsy of the old remote, the old rumble in the in the in the grips, and little uh, PlayStation bags. Oh, that's really cool. Right. This looks pretty important. Let's just see what's behind here. Wonder if this actually opens up or anything. Oh, that's cool. It's like a gravity machine. Hope we'll get some like cool collectibles from this. Let's have a look. I wonder what they're used for. God, it's quite expensive to use it as well. A hundred coins per like per turn. Oh, PlayStation Two. Oh, that is cool. Let's zoom in. It's literally like me every time I earn a platinum trophy. I think, hey guys, trophy hunting is something that I'm really big on as well. Um, spent a lot of years doing it. Got, I, just, I just don't know. I just got into it randomly. I just, I just to the point where I became obsessive. Really, I mean, I've calmed it down uh, more recently. You know, with with work being so busy. But again, I've got so I've got so many. So it's consumed so many hours. But. I won't change it for the world. I think I've got, I think I've got about 160 platinum trophies now. Just as it has its pros and cons, really. I mean, you really, really like sort of squeeze every last drop out of the game. But I mean, some some games towards the end, you are sort of really glad that it's over with by that point. I mean, you've really played it to death, especially with the sort of the real long games. Especially certainly with like the Assassin's Creed, the new the new installments of the Assassin's Creed games like Origins and Odyssey, like you can pour like about a sort of hundred hours into like just doing the platinum and um, the extra expansion content. But yeah, I need to check out the new uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well, guys. Uh, that's really cool. Um, it's very similar to what we've seen already with the uh, sort of the uh, the new way of it. Again, Assassin's Creed has strayed from the old style. It's sort of you can sort of approach it how you want these days, can't you? It's not so much sort of a stealth game. You can really sort of go in guns blazing and attack head on. Um, so again, it's uh, you can really play how you want with those games. I mean, I've just sort of try and mix it up and you know see see which sort of, uh, suits my play style. But yeah, definitely interested in the uh, in Valhalla. God, this looks so nice as well. See, like all the the rays of light passing through the tree, the tree leaves there. Look. Right, this guy's asking for a punch. Is it just like run? Yeah, there must be something in this. He's definitely not following a specific pattern, is it? Yeah, some really nice few coins out of that, guys. Where's he gone? Oh, it's... Oh, there's this story. There's two of them as well. Right, I think he's given us everything. 
Right, another one. One more. Oh, so the timing. Sorry guys, this is like painful to watch. Oh look, a little crash. That was conveniently dropped down there then. We see like a little wump of fruit drop off the end. Uh oh. Actually that just like disappeared quite quickly as it fell quite. Ah. Uh oh. Sorry mate, lost all your wump of fruit. This looks so nice. See, like the uh, reflection and the back of his helmet. Not there, like some kind of like checkpoint or something. Right, I must get all these guys. It's going to become an obsession now. And again, once we, um, we complete this level, we can always drop back and do a little bit more. We find it quite exciting to do. I know, uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see any more of this, Tim. Yeah, again, like, doing more regular uploads is not something I, like, really considered until sort of quite recently. I just thought, you know, why not? be quite cool I mean uh, I know lots of people are doing it now but again there's always room for one more right and again everyone's got a sort of different style so hopefully I'll uh, the community like I'll sort of want to sort of grow a bit more sort of laid back I'm not really one you know for like sort of screaming and shouting down the mic and I just wanted just a place where you could just come and like, chill out with me and you know we could just sort of discuss things you know that's sort of like a laid back style well it's like a power up for punch Oh, that's cool, that's like little discs. So yeah, just come, yeah, just come and chill out me guys. I mean, I'm going to be do, doing more uh, uploads as well when I get time. Obviously, I'll try and upload as often as I can. Oh, yeah. Right, I think I've got everything up here. Right, then let's move on. Oh, look. Oh, what's this? Guessing, is that a? That's definitely Bloodborne. Looks like he's had a gun on his left hand as well. Nice circle. Oh, such a good game. Again, I've played all the FromSoft games as well. Um, actually, the only one I haven't played now is. Demon Souls, which has just come out, remastered. Um, not not by uh, from software this time. It's actually been uh, brought back to life and uh, remastered by uh, Bluepoint, I think. So that'll be really interesting. Again, it's really strange. I'm having something that's sort of like a, a niche game, like with a cult following, like because I know they are notoriously hard games. Um, but having that as a sort of a launch title as well, I mean, that's the you know, times have changed. Oh, well, these are like the Teddy Realize these are like trigger buttons on the wall. That's cool. But yeah, having a game like that, I mean, it just shows, shows how far, you know, games like that have come. I mean, when it was first brought out, nobody even knew what it was. It sort of cornered a small section of the market. Come, it's grown since then. I mean, with the uh, with the introduction of uh, Dark Souls, uh, it just got bigger and bigger, really. Oh, this is definitely the last of us. You can see Joe and Ellie there, just hiding around the corner from the clicker. Um, sort of the mushrooms on the head. Just sort of there. Little bots take on the Cordyceps virus. Which is really cool. What if there's like loads of little Easter eggs like that hidden in the game as well? That's pretty cool. But yeah, I hope you're enjoying it, guys. Actually, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm really enjoying making it for you. Oh, I thought you could hit one for coins then. Never mind. Yeah, 
I don't think we can do anything with this. Okay. Let's go back here again. And we've definitely got some surprises waiting for us around here. Right, be careful. Such a sharp burst of two. Yeah. I love it. I mean, I love these sorts. Of, you know, it's like simple platforming games. Brilliant. I remember playing back on the PlayStation back in the day. We were playing games like Croc, and Spyro, and um, like uh, is it like Gek, Sense of the Gecko, things like that. Really, really cool. I'm um, telling you, one of my favourite games from the PlayStation was the, uh, the Toy Story 2 game. I thought it was a Toy Story 2 game. We play like Buzz Lightyear. You start off in Andy's bedroom. And um, you can like so you got to shoot the lasers and you've got to try and uh, collect all the Pizza Planet turkeys. That's really cool. Oh look, this another another Easter egg here. That's really cool. Sorry guys, I'm grinning so much right now playing this. Oh, yeah, I guess plenty of time to react to them. Oh look, we got nearly 200 coins, so we can probably use... Uh-oh. Didn't expect a one-shot kill, then. Oh, I didn't realise it happens every time. Right, okay. At least I know for next time. Right, this guy. Oh, has he disappeared? Oh. There you go. Sorry, mate. See ya! <laughs> right then. Terraflop tree tops. See so if we could get these. Ah, uh, look. But just stay react to the. Just all mates. Just carefully punching each other. Oh, that feels satisfying. You just sort of feel like that sort of slow rumble end through it. What's this then? Ah, okay. How does it actually? Right, so we'll try to figure out what's happening here, guys. <laughs> ah, there you go. It did like a little marker then. <laughs> oh! Yeah, don't know why to figure it out sooner. <laughs> so I like got to tilt the control at the same time. Again, sorry guys, I just well, I wasn't even watching that side screen for a minute then. No. <laughs> there you go. Right, checkpoints. So. There you go. Ah, oh, that's better. I'm doing it. Right, there you go. Yeah, we can get two more pulls on the... Uh, on the grabbing machine back in the uh, lab. Oh, you could just really feel the rumble there, that's what happening. Oh. There's quite a lot of stages to this. Right. Ah. Uh oh, what happened then? <laughs> At least you don't go back too far though, the cloud base uh, sort of below you. Oh, that's cool. You saw that? Yeah. 
Oh, I like that. That's really cool. Again, it's all just the moving that control, it's sort of tilting it and banking it left and right. Yeah, looks like a finish line up there. There you go. Done it. Oh, that's it for the uh, the monkey suit. That's gone. Ray Trace ruins. So these guys playing ninja bots. Right, how do I get up there? This light. Huh. Right. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, that was a big mistake. <laughs> Never mind. I still want to know how to get this though. I'm just gonna climb up there. Another game I loved playing so much was um, Jack and Daxter. Again, I must have 100% of that game and got the precursor orbs, like all of them, like three times. Absolutely love it. Again, I think that's another game we could probably revisit as well for the uh, for the channel. Yeah, if I ever mentioned it before, guys, um, I'm thinking about starting a mini series called Retro Reboot. Basically, where I revisit the old games. So I feel like it would be a really cool idea, you know, sort of, sort of pay a tribute to games of like sort of past generations, that would be really cool. Anyway, I've only got a couple of games in mind, I think we started off with something like uh, Super Meat Boy, which I've, uh, I've played previously, but I've, again, I haven't really done much of really, so I've just jumped in, you know, sort of between uh, AAA games I was playing at the time. So yeah, I think that would be pretty cool, just something like that, where you could just, it's just easy, I can just jump in, record it for you, maybe do a few chapters, you know, like a chapter, an episode or something like that. Oh, just a level. <laughs> it's just like ridiculously hard. But yeah, that'd be quite cool. Oh, he's catching break this. Ah, okay. Yeah. Careful with that. So yeah, I'm going to try and do the retro reboot pretty soon, guys. Uh, <laughs> I, just thought, I just thought I'd just try it out, just get the, uh, just just show you some uh, next gen content first and then we can uh, at some point dive back into some of the uh, golden oldies. Again, doing something like this is very new, I mean, when I was basically doing the unboxing video, it just sort of, thought, sort of felt really strange just to be, you sort of just be talking to myself in the room, um, explaining what was going on, it's really, really strange thing, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. Again, uh, practice makes perfect, so the more you do something right, the more you get used to doing it as well, so again, I'll just be a, it'll be a learning experience for me. Oh, that's so satisfying there. Shot do that and he can like lower that. Oh come on. Stop hiding. Okay. There you go. There you go. Even now I'm just still finding it so strange just to be sat here. Just sort of recording on my own, but again it's this game it's just something I've done really just I don't know in a way I've sort of been quite an antisocial game I just sort of like jumping into games and just uh, you know really immersing myself in the storyline especially with like the you know the big sort of role-playing games you know that you know that require your attention just just that sort of just absorb into that world and
Uh oh. So yeah, really excited to be doing some of this, guys. I don't trust this guy. Right, land so I can hit you. There you go. Right, sir. There you go. A bit fast this time. Final one. There you go. Nice and smooth. Smooth that time. <laughs> oh, I do like having this arrow. This bow and arrow is cool. Whoa! Well, that failed. <laughs> right, let's start again. Let's do this. Boss level. Shoot his eyes. Okay, I'm, I'm okay. What's happening? Just let him do his thing and then... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. We'll do it this time. Wait for him to get tired. And get the little guys. There you go. Uh oh. Must be. Oh, yeah, it's generally usually free state, free lives. Come on then, final one. There you go, as predicted. Oh, looks like there's still quite a bit more to go there, guys. I just uh, wonder all up the, uh, the cliff face there. Here we go, back into our faithful climbing suit look. There you go. The monkey's back. Oh, I like that, that's cool. Oh yeah, change hands. There you go. Careful timing. Go. Right. Nice and quick. There you go. I have to remember to sort of tilt the control as I'm like flying through the air to move across. There. Oh, look at like the little like, sort of glitters coming off it, it's cool. Right. Because we're coming to near the end now. What we'll do guys, we'll get to the end of the level and then we can spend all our coins in the... Uh, in the grabbing machine. See what goodies we can get. Oh. <gasps> Saved. That was lucky. Okay, come back down. Maybe a bit too brave then. There you go. Oh, that, <laughs> that failed. Okay.
Okay, I'll wait for this guy again. I just realised that jump was like quite a long way. I think do that. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay, whew. Well, quite a bit of pressure then. I think this game's got trophies on it as well, guys. So, yeah, I, I, I'm sure I turned them off, the notifications off, but I think I must be getting some at this point. <laughs> That's fine, I just want to be like distracted on the screen. So lucky then. This must be it. Oh, I absolutely love that game, Journey. Okay, it's such a simple game, but when I was playing it, it's like even the music, it just really gave me the just really, really gave me the feels. When I got to the end. I just re Oh, I can't describe it. If you haven't played it guys, Journey. I remember having the uh, the Journey uh, PlayStation theme on my uh, sort of dashboard as well, just because I like listening to that music. <laughs> Look, it's like, it's like thumb sticks, though. And the hidden gems around here, no. Oh, they guys play. Monster escape. Oh, I nearly missed this one. And I got my trusty bow and arrow again. Should I free this guy? No. No, I don't mean if you meant to free him. He's appeared again. Okay. Maybe jump up here and try and get those guys on top with the igloo. <laughs> and the PS4. <laughs> That's cool. God, the detail. Love it. You have got like the, uh, the barcode underneath. That's really cool. <laughs> in my opinion, one of the greatest consoles of all time as well. Although the PS5 is definitely going to top it, though, in my opinion. It's a strange thing, really, because when we've jumped from like generation to generation, you sort of expected sort of you know improvements to the graphics. But I think this time they have said that don't expect that, but expect you know improvements in different ways. So again, higher frame rates, like smoother. Uh, the, the mechanics of the games, the physics of it, they can do much more there. Uh, you know, much, much faster loading screens. Everything's just supposed to seem sort of, you know, that... Um, moving from what, sort of one screen to the other, it's just supposed to make it such a more, more smooth experience, so... Yeah. Oh, 
And that's one section done, guys. Brilliant. I'm just looking forward to spending these coins. I wish we get four turns on this, so that should be pretty cool. And then we'll end it there, guys. I think, uh, yeah, it's been a really, really nice uh, first upload. Let's break it. Oh, I love it. This would be so cool in VR as well. Oh, I've got this time. Okay. I don't know what they're for, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah, two more goes. Oh, junk. Ah, another one. And that's it, guys. That is uh, all the coins we've got for today, so... Oh, look here, this sort of fills out. Ah, the big picture there, look. Definitely try and fill this wall up. We're gonna, um, yeah, complete it if we can. That's really cool. So, yeah, thank you guys so, so much, guys, for joining me on my first video. Yeah, I'm just going to um, yeah, end the broadcast now and uh, yeah, try and get it uploaded to YouTube as fast as possible for you. It's actually pretty cool, so. And then we'll, uh, we'll start again. Hopefully I'll try and stop saying like, er, a bit more, but again, it's, uh, <laughs> just keep doing it. <laughs> First time I've done anything like this, so uh, yeah, expect uh, improvements over time. I'm just sort of randomly sort of wandering around now while I uh... Oh look we can actually inspect this as well. Yeah, it's the uh is that the Yeah the PlayStation uh, VR box. That's really cool. And it's like how it to get that set up as well. And move moving house soon, so I'll have my very own gaming room, so I'll be able to set it all up properly for you there. It's really exciting. So yeah, cheers again guys, thanks for joining me today, I'm Matt. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, channel is Angelic Pickle, going to be doing some more uploads over time. Try and make it more and more regular thing. But yeah, hope, hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining me, bye bye now.